Hello, hello, my lovelies from Little Legacy. I hope that you are safe and well, helping mum and dad during this time and that you are getting stuck in around the house and doing your schoolwork as well. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about Jesus being the key to our relationship with God. Now, do you remember? I've tried lots of keys in that padlock. Do you remember? And I could only find one that fit. It was the only way I could get into the shed. But I had to have the exact key. And that's what Jesus is in our relationship with God. He's the exact key to us being in a relationship with God. Now today, the title of our video is Jesus Promises a Helper. And we are going to find out a little bit more about this helper that Jesus promised. So I'm going to read to you from the Bible and it's from John chapter 14 and we are starting at verse 15. Okay. If you love me you will obey what I command and I will ask the Father and he will give you another counsellor to be with you forever. That's another helper. He is the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. That means completely alone with no family at all. I will come to you. Before long the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. Okay. Now the first part of that talks about keeping his commands. So let's find out what these commands are. And there we are. We can see them on our screen. Now we can look at those, can't we, and think, I don't know whether I can keep all of those because sometimes I slip up and I make a mistake. But do you know what? That's okay because none of us are perfect. Now this helper that Jesus was talking about was the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes and lives within us, lives with us as our friend, as our helper, when we accept Jesus as our friend. And the Holy Spirit can help us to do the right thing. Now Jesus knew that it would be difficult for the disciples and for us, because we're his disciples as well. He knew it would be difficult for them to keep those commands, this set of rules, if they tried to do it by themselves. And it's difficult for us if we try to do it by ourselves. But what's great is that the Holy Spirit can help us. So there might be times when you're thinking, mm, should I say this? And there's a little voice there that says, that's not very Christian-like or that's not very kind. Or you might think about doing something and then think, oh, I don't know whether that's the right thing to do. Well, that's the Holy Spirit that's the Holy Spirit giving you a little nudge and a little pss. I don't think you should do that. And it's just a quiet little whisper telling you how to keep those rules. So that's really helpful to know that when we have Jesus as our friend, we also have another helper and we have the Holy Spirit. Now Jesus said that he would send a helper, he would send the Holy Spirit because he wanted the disciples to carry on all the good work that he'd started when he was here on earth. Do you think he wanted that to stop after the Bible? No, he didn't. He wants us to carry on doing that good work as well. So he wants us to love other people. He wants us to serve one another and he wants us to demonstrate, show God's power in the way we live and the things that we say. So the Holy Spirit can help us to do that. Isn't that great that we don't have to try and do it by ourselves? Because I can tell you now, I wouldn't be able to do it by myself. Because there are times when I say the wrong thing and I do the wrong thing. But I know that my Heavenly Father will forgive me. So isn't that fabulous? Right, I'm going to read a little bit more now. And this will help us to know what's coming soon. So... Jesus goes on to say, On that day you will realise that I am in the Father and you are in me and I am in you. 
So, Heavenly Father, Jesus, me and the Holy Spirit. So it's, it's almost like a triangle, isn't it? We're all connected. Whoever keeps my commands, he's the one who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. Now we know that Jesus loved us even before we tried to keep his commands. Because Jesus, our God, is love. He is all about love and he's loved us forever. Even before we were born, he's loved us. But what Jesus is saying here is that if we try our very best to live by these rules and to keep these commands, it shows not just our Heavenly Father, but it shows other people that we have Jesus as our friend and we have a relationship with God, our Heavenly Father. Now, when we do these things and we show this to other people, other people then say, oh, I would like to know your friend Jesus. Now, that's what we want and that's what Jesus wanted. He came so that everybody might know who he was and everybody would, be, would know that he was the key to our Heavenly Father. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we want. We want to show God's love to everybody, don't we? So today, this lesson, Jesus Sends a Helper, I have posted it on our website. Now, if you go to LegacyChurchWarsall.com, then to Ministries, click on Ministries and go down to Little Legacy, where you found the video, you will also now find that there is another section that has all of our resources in. There is lots on there now that you can um, access, you can print off or you can just look through and use those ideas to be able to talk about something with your mums and dads or to play some games that are on those resources. Now our resource for today, our lesson for today is Jesus Promises a Helper and it's there. I think there's a maze with it. In fact, I know there's a maze with it. And there are suggested games that you can play, questions that you can ask your parents. And of course, today's scripture is there as well. Now, the scripture is John 14, verses 15 to 21. And here it is as a little reminder for you. See if you can memorise any parts of that about keeping his commandments and about the counsellor or the helper who comes. And just before we finish, I'm going to pray. Pray with me. Dear God, thank you for our help of the Holy Spirit. Help us to live right for you. Help us to show your love. Help us to serve one another and to be bold when we tell others about you. We ask in your name, Jesus. Amen. So don't forget, check out the resources on the website. The scripture's there to help you. And also, so are the rules. Thank you for listening today and I will see you very soon. Take good care. Bye.